Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Long time no see. Uh, if you were here last Friday, then you saw I was able to stream an episode after like a month. If you have any questions or have been wondering where I've been at, you can always go back to... It was a live... I did a live stream. You can go back to that episode. It was an episode of SmackDown. But either way, ladies and gentlemen... Hopefully, we are back, and hopefully I can keep giving you guys episodes. So, ladies and gentlemen, that being said, welcome to an episode of Raw. Let's not waste any time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go on ahead and get into the show. Let's get into the matches I have scheduled for you today. Ladies and gentlemen... To open the show, the Second City Saint, the voice of the voiceless, will be taking on Ricochet in CM Punk's debut match to Raw. In the second match, the Bloodline, they want to get their hands on the WWE Tag Team Championships. In case you forgot, ladies and gentlemen, the New Day currently hold both the WWE Tag Team Championships and the United States Championship. Big E is the U.S. Champion. Bloodline want to get a shot at those tag titles. They're going to have to take on the New Day to do it. In our third match, Bayley takes on the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. In our fourth match, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Danielson will be challenging the WWE Champion AJ Styles. Non-title, no title on the line, but if Brian Danielson can win this match, he could have a future WWE Championship opportunity. And in the main event, ladies and gentlemen, Samoa Joe takes on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the show. Let's not waste any time. Spoilers. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Drew McIntyre makes himself known. Immediately going after CM Punk. Drew McIntyre wants to cost CM Punk his debut match against Ricochet. This is the first time ever that CM Punk and Ricochet have been in the ring together. And there could already been asterisks. And Ricochet immediately starts the match with a kick to the head of CM Punk and goes for a pin. Not wasting any time here, but Punk able to kick out before the count of one. CM Punk and Ricochet lock up. Ricochet being thrown to the corner and CM Punk hits him with a high knee. And a running bulldog countered by Ricochet, who delivers a drop kick to the head of CM Punk. Ricochet going to continue the attack here. Huge elbow to the side of the head of Punk. Stomp to the leg of CM Punk. CM Punk dodges another one, kicks Ricochet in the gut. Back to his feet. Nails Ricochet with a punch. Lifts the arm, lifts him up. Delivers a suplex to Ricochet. Goes off the ropes. And a flying clothesline from CM Punk. CM Punk getting back into this match quickly. Ricochet tries to cut him off. Throws him to the ropes. Lifts him up and spikes him to the canvas. Ricochet going for a quick pin attempt here. But CM Punk able to kick out at the count of one. Punk not done yet. But Ricochet delivers a devastating knee to the head of CM Punk. All by another stomp to the leg. CM Punk got the roll out of the ring to give himself a little room. But Ricochet goes over the top rope and takes down CM Punk. A kick blocked by Punk. But Ricochet's quick offense catching back up to CM Punk. Ricochet lifts up Punk. But Punk able to slip out and takes out the knee of Ricochet. Picks Ricochet up. 
and throws him right into the barricade. Referee at the count of four and CM Punk is back in the ring. Ricochet still down on the barricade outside. Punk in a taunt, takes his eyes off Ricochet. Ricochet back in the ring already. Punk got down, but Ricochet able to take advantage. Kicks the knee out from under him. Delivers a crazy athletic maneuver. But CM Punk now back to his feet. Takes advantage, takes Ricochet to the corner. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle. And delivers a devastating right. Goes Ricochet into the corner. Gonna lift them up and suplex Ricochet in the middle of the ring. CM Punk now taunting, doing a little, doing some push-ups right in front of Ricochet. Goes Ricochet to the ropes. Goes underneath and takes him down with a neck breaker. CM Punk looks at Ricochet again. Spikes him on the ground and puts him in the Anaconda Vice. Ricochet in the middle of the ring, locked in the Anaconda Vice. CM Punk has Ricochet right where he wants him. But Ricochet fights out of it. Kicks to the back of the head. Ricochet lifting up CM Punk. Gun deliver his own signature maneuver right in the middle of the ring. CM Punk is down. Ricochet goes off the top rope. Delivers a flying moonsault to CM Punk to keep him down. Goes for the pen. But CM Punk able to power out at two. Attacks the leg of Punk. CM Punk heavily battered here. And Ricochet on the top row goes for the moonsault. Nails it. Going for the pin. But CM Punk stays alive. Kicking out at the last second. Ricochet goes off the rope again. But this time CM Punk moves out of the way. Punk going for a quick pin here. Ricochet kicks out at two, stays alive. CM Punk delivers an elbow to the chest of Ricochet. CM Punk lifts up Ricochet. I think it's time to go to sleep. CM Punk going for the pin here. And CM Punk gets a huge win on his debut episode of Monday Night Raw. But ladies and gentlemen, we cannot take our eyes, we cannot forget that before this match started, Drew McIntyre attacked CM Punk. There may be repercussions later on when it comes to Punk and Drew McIntyre. But for now, CM Punk victorious. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, a tag team match between the Bloodline and the New Day. The Bloodline wants to get their hands on those WWE Tag Team titles. They want to make Roman Reigns proud. Roman Reigns will be in action in our main event. But for now, can Solo, can Jimmy pick up some much-needed victories to do the Tribal Chief proud?
and their opponents at a combined weight of 417 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Ladies and gentlemen, the New Day beat the Viking Raiders at Backlash, which feels like so long ago. They beat them for the WWE Tag Team Titles back when they were the Raw Tag Team Titles. The New Day won a mini tournament to decide the fate of those titles. And now the New Day has to continue to pick up momentum, continue their win streak. So Sokoa and Xavier Woods going to start this match off. Jimmy and Kofi on the apron. Solo waiting for Xavier to make the first move. Solo gets thrown into the corner. And Xavier drives an elbow right into the head of Solo Sokoa. And immediately tags in Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston with an athletic maneuver into a DDT. Takes down Solo. Throws Solo to the ropes. And flips Solo onto his back. Kofi going off the ropes. And delivers a massive drop kick to Solo Sokoa. And a huge kick to the chest. The New Day not trying to let Solo start up and get going in this match. Kofi takes Solo down, picks him back up. Throws him to the corner. But Solo with a huge elbow to the head. Kofi on the attack. Has the arm wrapped up. Solo going to fight out. Lifts up Kofi and delivers him to the canvas. But Kofi with a flying clothesline takes down Sokoa. Kofi tags in Xavier Woods. Sokoa. Getting back in the ring, Sokoa takes uh, Xavier from behind, lifts Xavier up, and drops him head first under the top turnbuckle. So Sokoa going to attack the arm of Xavier Woods here. So Sokoa going for a maneuver, but Xavier Woods kicked Solo in the head. Xavier Woods kicking Solo in the chest now. And a huge kick to the back of Sokoa, but Sokoa gets back to his feet, but is taken down by a huge knee strike from Xavier. Solo trying to make the hot tag to Jimmy, while Xavier Woods is taunting. Jimmy Uso tagged into the match. Jimmy Uso throwing Xavier to the rose, picks him up. Samoan slam onto the canvas. And now Xavier making the hot tag to Kofi. Kofi with another athletic maneuver into a DDT takes down uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Uso upright. Kofi misses with the drop kick off the ropes, but doesn't miss with that kick to the gut. Into a flying neck breaker on Jimmy Uso. Followed by a massive uppercut. Jimmy Uso back to his feet. Takes Kofi from behind. Lifts Kofi up. And spikes Kofi's head into the into the turnbuckle. And now spiking his arm onto the canvas, gonna tag in Solo. And Solo with a massive clothesline takes down Kofi Kingston, going for a pin here. But Kofi able to kick out at two. Solo with a headbutt to Kofi Kingston. And another one. Kofi getting back to his feet. But Solo Sokoa, hell bent on doing damage, picks up and slams Kofi. Kofi able to make the high tag to Xavier Woods now. But Solo takes Xavier Woods down quickly. Xavier Woods back to his feet, gets the better of that wrap up, lifting up Solo. And drops Solo's head into the turnbuckle. But Solo with a kick to the gut of Xavier Woods. 
Solo takes Xavier into the corner. Chop to the chest. Tags in Jimmy. Jimmy Uso wrapping up Xavier Woods. Lifts him up. But Xavier Woods reverses and drives Jimmy Uso into the ground. Xavier Woods now with a flying elbow takes down Jimmy once more time. Looks like Xavier Woods going to go off the ropes here and drives Jimmy's head into the canvas. Jimmy thrown to the ropes. Xavier ducks under, hops over. Drop kick right to the chest of Jimmy Uso. And then rolls through and drives Jimmy to the ground going for a pin. But Jimmy Uso able to get the hand up at two. Getting the shoulder up, breaking up the pin. Xavier going off the top rope. Gonna walk the ropes and misses with the elbow drop. Jimmy Uso got out of the way. Lifts up and Samoan slam to Xavier Woods one more time before tagging in Solo Sokoa. Sokoa amped up here. Kicking the leg of Xavier, now going for a pin. But Xavier able to kick out at one. Rolls him through and spikes his head under the canvas. Solo Sokoa now going to do damage to the arm of Xavier Woods. Locking that arm up before throwing him into the canvas again. Continuing to do damage on the arm of Xavier Woods. Stomping away at the fingers of Xavier Woods. He tags in Jimmy Uso. Letting the big brother get a chance to get some damage in. Huge elbows to the back of Xavier. Followed by a massive headbutt. Going for a pin. Xavier Woods staying alive. Kicking out at one. But Jimmy Uso being driven to the canvas by Xavier on that reversal. Now a kick to the back of Jimmy. Now Jimmy's arm being slammed to the canvas and Xavier makes the tag to Kofi. But Jimmy on the attack takes down Kofi immediately. Followed by a neck breaker keeping Kofi on the ground. Jimmy Uso lifting up Kofi here. Drives him back first into the canvas right in front of Xavier Woods. Jimmy Uso going to lift up Kofi. Huge elbow shot to the head. Kick to the gut of Jimmy Uso. And Kofi rolls through and takes down Jimmy. Followed by a massive DDT while Jimmy was still getting back to his feet. Kofi going off the ropes. And delivers the boom drop right to Jimmy Uso. Going for a pin here. Solo Sokoa able to make this save at two. Jimmy Uso may have been done there. Kofi setting up for trouble in paradise. And nails it. Busting Jimmy Uso wide open. New Day successfully beat the bloodline. New Day celebrating after another huge victory. And you got to wonder, ladies and gentlemen, what is next for the bloodline? What could they possibly do to get into the tag title picture? But speaking of title picture, Bailey will be taking on the WWE Women's Champion Becky Lynch, trying to get her opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey has a massive opportunity here. 
to beat the women's champion in a one-on-one -on -one match could damn near guarantee a one-on-one -on -one championship opportunity in the near future for Bailey. Bailey can't let this moment fall to pieces. She's going to have to find a way to beat Becky Lynch. But Becky Lynch, ladies and gentlemen, is riding a wave of momentum. Becky Lynch, the WWE Women's Champion. There's nothing to sneeze at, ladies and gentlemen. Becky Lynch on the top of the mountain once again. Becky Lynch has reached legend status in this business. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, who becomes Becky Lynch's first title defense? Could it be Bailey here? Becky Lynch starts this match off quickly taking down Bailey with a combination and delivering an elbow to the arm of Bailey. And now a leg drop onto the arm of Bailey. Bailey getting back to her feet, but Becky Lynch with a kick to the gut. Butterfly takes her down and locks in an arm bar on Bailey quickly. Middle of the ring, Bailey gonna slip out, delivering huge shots to the head of Becky Lynch. Bailey driving Becky Lynch's arm into the canvas. Becky Lynch throws Bailey into the corner. Becky Lynch gonna attack the leg of Bailey. Becky Lynch trying to keep momentum on her side. The momentum in this match, keep it on her side. Delivers a German suplex, but Bailey countered. But Becky Lynch counters again, tossing Bailey up and locking her into another armbar. Becky Lynch trying to set up for that, disarm her quickly, weakening the arm as much as possible. You can see Becky Lynch's strategy immediately. But Bailey now trying to defend again, slams Becky Lynch. Throwing stiff rights. Lifts up Becky and delivers a suplex to Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch gets back to her feet quickly though. Lifts up Bailey and slams her. Bailey being smart gets out of the ring, but Becky Lynch goes right after her with a dive to the outside. Becky Lynch feeling herself. This match could be going any better for Becky Lynch. Already having daily damaged. And delivers a leg drop under the neck of Bailey. And now slamming Bailey's arm to the ground. Becky Lynch lifting Bailey up. Gonna lift Bailey again and spike her down. Becky Lynch takes elbows to the gut from Bailey as the referee reaches the count of seven. A count of eight, and Bailey throws Becky Lynch right into the turnbuckle post. Count of nine, Becky Lynch still getting back to her feet. Becky Lynch got back in the ring, but not quite soon enough. Here's Bailey. Your winner, Bailey. Bailey gets the count out victory. Becky Lynch got back into the ring, but a nanosecond too late. That's not good enough to earn Bailey a championship opportunity. But Becky Lynch may have a thing or two to discuss with Bailey on the next episode of Raw.
But ladies and gentlemen, we're getting down to our final two matches. And up next, the returning Brian Danielson will be taking on the WWE Champion, AJ Styles. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson! Brian Danielson, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Made his return, his return and debut at Backlash. Brian Danielson climbs the ropes, posing to the crowd. Brian Danielson, on his first Raw appearance, made it very clear what he wants, and that is a chance to fight for the WWE Championship. Now, the thing about this is, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Danielson has beaten AJ Styles for the WWE Championship in the past. If Brian Danielson can earn himself an opportunity, can earn himself a victory against AJ Styles, Brian Danielson may very well have that opportunity again. AJ Styles won that WWE Championship at Backlash. Showing that he is still truly a phenomenal competitor. If Brian Danielson wants that title, he's going to have to bring everything he's got. AJ Styles on a regular night is a hard man to beat. But with the title around his waist and momentum on his side... AJ Styles could be damn near unstoppable. AJ Styles, Brian Danielson already staring each other down. They know what's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. They know this is going to be a tough match. AJ Styles starts off quickly with huge chops to the chest, lifts up Danielson, and spikes him onto a knee. Danielson down, and AJ Styles going to attack the arm of Brian Danielson. And now the head of Danielson attacking the back of the head with a big boot and now posing to the crowd. AJ Styles as confident as they come. Lifts up Danielson, goes off the ropes, grabs Danielson by the neck and drives him to the canvas. Going for a quick pin on Brian Danielson. But Danielson able to kick out at one. AJ Styles lifts up Danielson to continue to do damage on that historically damaged neck of Danielson. Attacking the arm of Danielson now. Continues the assault on the arm. AJ Styles trying to pick Danielson apart. Attack all the limbs. Attack the knee of Brian Danielson. Going back to the arm one more time. AJ Styles trying to pick Danielson apart here. Styles going off the top rope, but misses with the clothesline, and Danielson going to be able to take advantage. Rubbing AJ Styles face into the canvas and delivers an elbow to the back. AJ Styles needs to be careful. He can't slip up. Not against Danielson, who knocks Styles down with a flying knee. Danielson thrown to the ropes by Styles. Styles. Goes from behind, delivers a German into a pin, but Danielson able to kick out before one. And Danielson outside the ring. Styles goes out to get him. 
But Danielson lifting up Styles, slams him down onto a leg. Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson stomps to the chest of AJ Styles now. Lifting up AJ Styles. Gonna throw him back into the ring. AJ Styles had the advantage early on. Danielson looks to have gotten back into the match, but Styles lifting up Danielson. Drapes him over the top rope, but Danielson back to his feet quickly. AJ Styles quickly thinking, takes down Bryan, but misses with that kick to the chest. And Brian with a headbutt to AJ Styles. Stomp on the arm. Gonna continue to assault the arm of AJ Styles now. AJ Styles has to be a lot more careful. He can't slip up in a match against Brian Danielson, who delivers a vicious headbutt to AJ Styles. He lifts up AJ. Throws him to the ropes. And delivers an elbow to the chest that takes Styles down. Styles back to his feet, slides through, takes Danielson down again. And now more chops, but Danielson catches him off. Danielson now on the assault. Delivers a huge elbow to the back of AJ. AJ with an elbow to the head of Brian. And AJ Styles going for the calf crusher, but Danielson was in the ropes. Styles gonna lift Danielson up here. Has him on his shoulders. And drops Danielson onto his knee. But Danielson with the reversal. Has Styles from behind. Delivers an elbow to the back. Brian Danielson carrying Styles over to the corner. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle. Gonna continue to attack the arm of AJ Styles. As AJ by his leg flips him over. And Danielson now going to do damage to the leg of AJ Styles. AJ back to his feet. Danielson lifts him up. Twisting the arm. Takes the arm to the ground. And stomps on it. Danielson now have done enough damage to AJ's arm. Danielson going to do it again. Going to attack the arm of AJ Styles again. AJ Styles being pulled to the center of the ring. Danielson not done. Drives a knee into the back of the head of AJ Styles. Danielson lifting Styles up. But AJ Styles with a quick counter, a quick grab into a Styles Clash. Styles Clash goes for the pin on Brian Danielson. But Danielson able to kick out at two. The Styles Clash came from out of nowhere, but Danielson able to get to the kick out. Danielson hung up on the ropes after that. Styles drapes him over the ropes again. That Styles Clash was more for survival, but it's given AJ Styles a chance to get back into this match. AJ Styles on the top rope telling Danielson to get to his feet. Goes off the ropes and delivers a clothesline to Danielson. AJ Styles going off the middle rope, delivers a moonsault, and goes for the pin on Brian Danielson. But Danielson able to get the arm up before the count of three. Styles going to lift up Danielson here. Throws Danielson to the ropes and flips him and drops him onto his back. AJ Styles sets up for another Styles Clash. Look to put this match to bed, but Brian Danielson with a huge elbow to the head. And Danielson locking in the LaBelle lock. AJ Styles in the middle of the ring with nowhere to go. LaBelle lock locked in. AJ Styles can't get to the ropes, but Danielson lets him out. Misses a stop. AJ Styles takes advantage, lifts him up. But Danielson slips out. Has AJ from behind. Lifts AJ Styles up and spikes him knee to knee. And Danielson now going off to the top row, going up to the top row. Delivers flying goat, headbutt to head. AJ Styles down, middle of the ring. Danielson goes for the pin. And Danielson gets the win. Here is your winner, Brian Danielson. 
Brian Danielson with a massive victory over the WWE Champion. The way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Danielson and AJ Styles now have a date to fight for the WWE Championship. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is time Samoa Joe takes on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. These two have had legendary matches in the past. But Samoa Joe was dealing with the big dog then. How does he respond to the tribal chief now? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California. Weighing in at 282 pounds. Samoa Joe when he when Samoa Joe returned and he went face to face with Roman Reigns ladies and gentlemen you got the image very clear in your head that Joe he's not coming for the WWE title yet he's coming for the tribal chief Samoa Joe wants to take down the tribal chief or at least knock him down a few pegs the ladies and gentlemen what we cannot do is pretend that Samoa Joe does not have a massive fight on his hands. A massive problem. Samoa Joe, not afraid of a fight, but he may have picked the fight with the wrong man. And his opponent, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, Weighing in at 265 pounds, Herman Reigns! Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, flanked by his wise man, Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns is on a different level altogether. No matter what show Roman Reigns shows up on, Roman Reigns runs that show. This is Roman's show. Roman was the first overall draft pick here on Raw. You know, Roman Reigns has his eyes set for that WWE Championship. But for now, it's going to have to take a moment and wait. First, he has to deal with an old nemesis in Samoa Joe. Bell rings, and Samoa Joe starts the match off with heavy hits and a huge chop to Roman. Joe lifting up Roman and spiking him to the ground. Goes for a quick pin on Roman Reigns, but Roman kicks out even before the count of one. Joe now with huge chops to the chest of Roman, flips him over and a huge chop to the back, followed by a kick to the chest on Roman Reigns. Roman back to his feet. But Samoa Joe still getting the better of him. Hangs Roman on the ropes. Roman able to get an elbow to the head. Takes Joe over. Hangs Joe on the ropes. Flips him and just chokes him out with the top rope. 
Roman Reigns not afraid to play a little dirty, a little loose with the rules, kick to Joe's side, and now a kick to Joe's head. Roman Reigns lifts Joe up, powerbomb position, and spikes Joe down. Roman Reigns throws the ones. And Roman going to continue the assault with kicks to the chest, followed by a huge elbow to the head. As Samoa Joe lands outside the ring, Roman sets up, goes over, dives to the outside, takes down Samoa Joe. Roman now taunting Joe, kick him in the head, continuing to assault the head of Samoa Joe. Followed by, oh no! Joe with a counter, huge elbow to the head, and throws Roman near the entrance ramp. Joe, all over Roman, lifts Roman up and drops him onto a knee. And again, Roman on the ground and Joe back in the ring. Roman getting back to his feet, runs in right before the count of eight. Roman Reigns. Going to carry Samoa Joe over to the corner, bounces his head off the turnbuckle, and drives his shoulder into Joe's stomach, followed by a boot to Joe's neck. Roman Reigns on the assault, on the attack, lifts Samoa Joe up. Huge uppercut that floors Samoa Joe, and Roman Reigns now taunting the crowd. Telling the crowd that this is not going to be the man to knock him off the pedestal. Roman Reigns lifting Joe up again. Another powerbomb to Samoa Joe. This time going for a pin. But the referee didn't even make the count and Joe kicked out. Huge elbow to the side of the head of Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe goes off the rope. Delivers a big body splash onto Roman's chest. Lifts Roman up. Carries Roman over to the corner. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle post. Samoa Joe... Huge headbutt to Roman Reigns, followed by a stiff kick to the gut. But Roman blocks the next kick and floors Samoa Joe. Roman Reigns throws Joe to the ropes, bounces him off the referee, takes advantage, huge elbow to the back, throws Joe to the ropes, ducks under, but Joe goes over the ropes and Roman knocks him. Huge shot to the head. Roman goes outside onto the apron. Lifts Joe up and spikes him back first onto the apron. Roman Reigns picks up Joe and locks Samoa Joe into a guillotine on the outside right onto the floor. But Samoa Joe, using his power, using his resilience, he throws Roman off of him. Lifts Roman up. Huge running power slam to Roman Reigns on the outside from Samoa Joe. Joe lifts Roman up and throws him into the steel steps. Joe gets back into the ring at the count of seven. Roman getting back to his feet, count of eight. Roman back in the ring. Roman Reigns grabs Joe immediately, throws him to the ropes and hits him with a spear. Going for a pin here on Joe. But Joe survives, kicks out of the first spear. Samoa Joe hung up on the ropes. Roman lifts him up onto the top rope. Huge shot to the back. And again. But Joe counters. Huge elbow to the head. Joe gets off the ropes and delivers a shoulder check to Roman, knocking him down. Samoa Joe. Carrying Roman over into the center of the ring. Roman gets back to his feet. But Joe lifting Roman up. Sideways slam on the Roman. Going for the pin. Samoa Joe delivers the finish. But Roman able to kick out at the count of two. Roman immediately grabs Joe. And bounces his head off the turnbuckle post. Followed by huge clotheslines in the corner. Knocks Joe down. And Roman Reigns going to set up one more time. Set up for another spear here. Another huge spear. But Joe gets the knee up. Joe blocks the spear. Stopping Roman in his tracks. And clotheslines Roman right out of the ring. 
Samoa Joe has the arm of Roman Reigns and delivers a huge leg drop into the left arm. Roman Reigns is in trouble. First spear, Joe kicked out. Second spear, Joe blocked. And now Joe is on the assault attacking Roman's arms. Joe lifting Roman Reigns up. Huge slam to Joe, tossing Joe down. Samoa Joe stalking his prey, a count of seven. Count of eight, Joe back in the ring, Roman barely getting back to his feet. Count of nine, Roman in the ring. Joe taunting the crowd, but Roman takes advantage. Rolls through, lifts Joe up, one arm power bomb right into the middle of the ring. Samoa Joe being lifted up by Roman Reigns. Strike, but Joe counters and drops Roman. Roman back to his feet. Joe throwing Roman to the ropes. Lifts up and suplexes Roman Reigns. Joe going for a pin here on Roman, middle of the ring. Roman able to kick out at two. Samoa Joe gonna attack the arm of Roman Reigns yet again. Roman Reigns gets the better of that lockup. Carries Joe to the ropes, bounces his head off the apron. Huge strikes from the Tribal Chief. And now Roman getting up in Joe's face, choking him out in the corner. The referee trying to tell Roman to stop. Roman Reigns now going for a pin on Joe after that vicious assault. Roman Reigns gets the pin and the win. After that a vicious assault from Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe didn't have enough in him to kick out. Roman Reigns, ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief, victorious. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for this episode of Raw. The return episode of Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully, this will be, I'll be able to continue the series but for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for returning and being patient with me get, getting these episodes out. But that's going to be it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. But before we go, let's go ahead and confirm a couple of matches coming to next week's Raw. CM Punk will be facing Drew McIntyre, who attacked him at the beginning of the match. Bailey and Becky Lynch will be running it back. Brian Danielson and AJ Styles will be furthering the feud. Unsure what is going to be the situation next week for these two. But you can look forward to Danielson and AJ Styles in some way, shape, or form locking up. And we have to watch... And see how Samoa Joe rebounds from taking a vicious loss to the Tribal Chief. And we will with... <laughs> I'm sorry. Next week, we will see the return of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next time. Take care and have a beautiful, beautiful day.